I just got off the telephone a few minutes ago with Jake Smith, who's my partner in this endeavor called Boardwalk Potatoes. If you didn't know, Jake lives in Delaware, where he is a talk radio host. And the Hunter Biden story might might finally start gaining ground in Joe Biden's own backyard. The police department in Newcastle County is under some what you might call extreme pressure because they got a delivery as well. Uh, that's the biggest county in Delaware, and it's the one where Joe Biden's main residence is. They got a delivery dropped off to them, and it may show child pornography on Hunter Biden's laptop. The spokesperson for the uh, for the agency immediately said, we uh, turned it over to the FBI. That's because nobody in Delaware, which is a state run by the Bidens, wants to have anything to do with this because of personal fear about what might happen, retribution. So they're trying to wash their hands of it as quickly as possible. But what's clear and evident in all of the, the emails that we are now coming through, the whole trove that were on the laptop is that apparently there were people within the family who were warning that Hunter had issues with underage girls. And this includes the, the sister-in-law who was married to Hunter Biden's brother who passed away a few years ago. Bo Biden had been the state attorney general. No wonder nobody was looking into Bo's perhaps, or Hunter's perhaps, criminal activities, because when your brother is the top law enforcer in the state, you tend to be able to get away with these types of things. And it's a small state geographically and population-wise. I believe there's still under a, a million people who live there. My friend Jake said to me this morning, he said, what's going on right now might truly be an act of God to save our country. Mainstream media simply cannot continue to ignore this story. Eddie Scary at the Washington Examiner has a column out where he simply asks, who's going to be the first to apologize to the New York Post? Social media hasn't yet done it. As far as I know, Twitter still has the New York Post locked out. But you, you, you are starting to see the, the cracks in the mainstream media effort to try to drag Joe Biden across the finish line by ignoring this story. The Russia, Russia, Russia excuse didn't pan out. And then there were people who were saying, well, you know, Hunter Biden's got, uh, he's got issues with addiction. We shouldn't be picking on him. Uh, if his addiction issues led him to hoover up money from various bad actors around the world, and then he split that money with his dad in exchange for favors, then the media will argue, well, old Joe's got dementia. You know, he was easily played. Really? And you want him in the White House then? Is that it? You see, whatever they can come up with isn't going to work any longer. We've got to ensure that the public at large knows just how serious these charges are. You've got to, you've got to yell it from the highest hill because where you live, you may not have any assistance. You know, our, our local newspaper today is focused on, we had a, a health district meeting last night and the health district voted five to four against having a, a mask mandate. And these people are all upset. The headline reads something along the lines of, let me just share this if I could for a moment. This just shows you the usual media perfidy. But the headline is this. It says, politicians say no to doctor, please. It's the lead story, but it goes on like an op-ed page uh, or op-ed piece for two pages. You've got to realize these politicians answer to voters. And if the voters don't want it, the politicians then don't want it. We're not run by elites in this country. We're still run uh, with the consent of the governed. That is, we select our leaders and then we expect them to do the job for us because we all can't always squeeze into one room and make the decision on our own. And so mainstream media is still trying to play the totalitarian game. And, uh, and I guess if mainstream media had its way, we just simply wouldn't have elections any longer whatsoever. They would just come along and say, hey, the following people that we like, we're going to put them in charge. I mentioned this on the program yesterday. There's a group that goes around the country and they try to demand that when you have governments that have prayer, they try to demand then that they should also be able to have an opening prayer themselves. And that they come along and they have this monument called Baphomet, which is a representation of the devil, or at least of the dark, dark lord. But if you press them on what they really believe in, they say, well, we're not actually, we don't even believe in the devil. We're atheists. We believe in science. So they're using the devil as their representation of science. And they, 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 you know, apparently they've got bats in their belfry because it hasn't occurred to them uh, that that's a pretty terrible analogy that they're making at this point. Right now, the devil has been very close to this country. But we can, we can throw a roadblock up 
if we ensure that the Bidens never get near the White House ever again. If you like our videos, click on the subscribe button above, and you can leave any comments in the comments section below.